what's going on dudes my name is TDC and welcome back to my Minecraft world hopefully you guys are having a fantastic today hopefully you guys had an awesome Christmas got to see your family and friends and got some good goodies oh my aunt goodies but dudes today we are gonna go work on the Enderman farm but first I just kind of want to show you what's going on over here we haven't been up here in a little while we came over here and grabbed some of the gunpowder that we had last episode for the rockets and all that good stuff from the <laughs> the new update um, but I was looking through these chests and I found a bunch more gunpowder in here which is awesome so remember last episode we took everything that we had out of here and already I have a little over three stacks here so this thing actually works really really well and uh, I've only been AFK for about I'd say an hour or so so I mean it's not like the fastest thing in the world but I can just set it up here I can stand still for a little bit and, you know, go do some chores or something like that and then come back. We've got tons of stuff, so that is really good. But I'm going to go ahead and snag all this so we can just take it back down there. And uh, we can make up some more rockets whenever we need them. But today, I want to go work on the end farm um, because we saw how well it works last episode. I think it was last episode or the episode before last. But I've been doing some AFK work over at the spider farm. Um, can we load in, please? <laughs> this version of Minecraft, man, has some problems loading in chunks here. Uh, but I've been doing some work over in the bottom side ravine, and I want to get your guys' input on a couple of stuff. And I AFK'd over there for a little while and grabbed a bunch of string. Or there's a bunch of string over there for us to grab so we can actually start work on the end farm and maybe get it back up and going at least to half capacity. And uh, I think that'll help out a lot because we need the levels. We've got to finish putting mending on all of our tools and everything like that. It's going to help out a ton with the XP side of things. So, uh, we stuck. Uh, but yeah, I have been kind of busy. <laughs> I haven't had a whole lot of time to play here at my desk. But what I did is we were doing a lot of driving this weekend over the Christmas holiday and all that kind of stuff. So what I did is I loaded this world up onto my laptop and I got a bunch of done a bunch of stuff done while we were driving and just kinda of hanging out doing family stuff when uh you know things have died down at night time and there's not a whole lot left to do. I decided to get some work done and I was working in here. Where are you? Where are you be? Where is this person? What? Where are you? On. Oh, there he is. I see you. Come here. Come closer. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so you can see that I got a bunch of these little rails and stuff put in here. And it kind of defined some of the pathways a little bit better. I kind of, uh, you know, it showed some spots that were a little bit too thin, like right here. So I ended up digging this out just a little bit to kind of make a little bit more room. And I think it's coming along nicely. So we still got a lot of work to do down here. But this is also something. Ah! <laughs> um, I was playing around with for lighting and I'm kind of thinking I'd like to take an opposite approach to this ravine than our other one. I also got some work done over there and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about opposites here in a little bit. So you remember that one's kind of real green and lush and there's you know plant life and all that kind of stuff and I kind of like this to be more of a dungeon type area. So I was thinking the iron bars and lava, that's just one bucket of lava up there at the top flowing down behind some iron bars. And it gives off light, which is really nice, so we could use that for lighting. And it kind of sets the mood, like this is kind of, you know, I mean, obviously it is kind of a cave dungeon type thing. So I'm thinking we could maybe use that style down here and we could put in some like jail cells and you know some other really cool stuff and we could actually like name tag some zombies and stuff like that and put them in jail cells I don't know I think that'd be kind of neat but it'd be kind of hard um, but we'll see what we can do so I don't know that's kind of the plan that's the idea we'll see how far we get but check this out man we've got a ton of string here which is amazing so this farm this is the cave spider spawner um, that's the little guys and this is just the normal spider farm and you can see there is a huge difference in the amount of string that you get so this one produces much much more than this one um, we're also getting some skeletons spawning in here every now and then <laughs> I was AFK here for a little bit and I came back and there was a skeleton just bobbing up and down right here um, his head was above the glass which I'm not real sure how that works but I don't know, I guess apparently they do drown every now and then, so I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I just don't want them escaping on us and then causing some issues there. So, yeah, man, um, it's coming along really nice. I've been working on some of the braces, and 
I think this actually looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not done in here, so things look a little odd. And I need to switch these out with the oak stairs. I was using the spruce stairs, but I think that I like the oak ones better. They just kind of, it's like a different color. And it doesn't, you know, it blends pretty well, but the spruce just kind of blends in too much with the actual floor. So, I don't know. We may end up switching those out. We may keep this one spruce up in here, but I don't really know for sure. But anyways, let's go check out the other ravine because I got a lot of stuff done over there um, as far as, like, decorating. I guess decorating and just kind of doing some of the, the plant work, I guess you could say, landscaping. <laughs> but I think it's coming along really cool so um, you can see that a lot of stuff has changed around here and let's actually we'll take a look from over here on this side first and then we'll just kind of walk we'll walk the entire length of the ravine so you guys can see what's going on so I'm really pleased with it if you guys see something that you might want changed or something that we could do better maybe a different design or something like that make sure to leave it in a comment down below and let me know but uh, this is what we got man. So lots of leaves lots of grass, and I think it comes it just kind of like really pops now um, We put in a bunch of extra leaves here these braces. This is what I was talking about I really like the braces over here. It makes everything look anchored and like really connected um, So instead of having like all the braces come down and connect to the wall like this one I added these little ones in here. These are kind of connected to the wall, but then these big ones here, you know, they kind of run from side to side. So that kind of makes sense to me too. It doesn't have to necessarily go straight up and down, but it could be, you know, horizontal and kind of connect up there too. So we got these guys here. Um, we got a few more leaves back here with a few more struts and anchors. Yeah, I still got to figure out what we want to do back here in this corner. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what we want to do, um, but I added in all these leaves here. Just kind of give you guys a good broad look at everything here. I think it looks really cool. So, got those there. I added in a water feature. I tried to use a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns around here for light. And I tried to hide them as best I could. But some of them, they can't, you can't really get away from. So, like that one there. From this angle, we can see it pretty clearly. But if we're running, you know, this way and stuff, we can't really see it. So, that's one thing. But then I also added this top layer here. And I connected it up to a few different spots here, so it comes down or it comes over here and it wraps around and goes back up that way. But then what I was also talking about last episode, we connected it up up here, so we actually have I think three or four different entrances down to this ravine, and it's just kind of really cool. It just connects everything up and gives you a different path to travel every now and then. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's itching. <coughs> okay, a little better. <laughs> um, allergies have been killing me, man, here recently. It's like it's at the end of December right now, and it's like 80 degrees outside. The weather has shifted. It was like 42 last week for the high, even lower probably, but now it's back up in the 80s. It's killing me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think it's coming along really, really cool. So like I said, if you guys got ideas or things that we can maybe do better, um, make sure you leave them in the comment down below and let me know. But I think all in all, I'm pretty happy with the way this ravine is coming out. So next thing to do is to figure out where we want to set up some shops and buildings and different things like that. So I got this area kind of planned out. I want to do something here. I don't know what, but we'll figure it out. And then I've got this little area dug here, which again, I don't really know what we can use this spot for because directly underneath this, I think if I take out this grass block, <laughs> um, this is behind the sugarcane farm down here, so we can't really use that to, uh, you know, we can't dig too deep right there. Where'd that guy go? Is he down there? Alright, you can just chill for now, I guess. Um, but yeah, so there's lots of different things that we can do here, and one of the other ones that I want to do is I want to have this pathway here, but I also want to get rid of this. And you know what? We can actually go ahead and do this now real quick. Um, I want this to connect up here also. Just kind of, you know, another little, <laughs> another little way into this whole thing. Um, so we got like the little tunnel, and then we can have this guy here. I don't really know why, but it just makes sense to have the path kind of wrap around this way. So that's what we got. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go drop off some of this other stuff that we don't need. I had to do some tilling over at the animal farm. Some of the animals are dropping the crops off or trampling the crops. <laughs> and getting a bunch of stuff done over there um, or killing a bunch of stuff over here but yeah so anyways let's go do let's see. oh can we make it oh yeah we're awesome oh not so awesome um, but yeah I'm gonna drop off a bunch of stuff and get ready for today's projects and we'll be right back 
All right, so here we are. We are going to designate this as our string chest. I don't want to carry all of this on us, and nor do I really want to carry all of this stuff on us either. We'll take some food with us. Torches can stay. We're not going to need any of our tools and our elytra and all that kind of stuff. We can drop off here because I do have a feeling I may end up dying a couple times. And uh, I don't want to lose too much if I don't have to. So, let's put that there. We'll split our food. I already dropped off half this stack over at the base. But, let's go ahead and set this to kill. There we go. A little sound lag or something going on there. Uh, take out these guys. That way, when everybody falls, they should just die. We don't have... We're not going to have like a backup or build up of these guys. So, what we need to do... Oh, you know what? I may need a pickaxe kind of travel around up here. Let's go... Do I have an extra pick in here somewhere? I do have some diamonds there. We can make one. What about an iron? Do I have any iron here? I have a fortune 3 axe. <laughs> That's not what we need. Um, any iron? I don't see any iron. I don't know why I would have iron here, but I got a ton of torches, man. I need to work on clearing all this stuff out. I'll probably take a load with me as we come back. Any iron? Anything over here? Got a bunch of armor. Just a few extra diamonds. We could... What enchantment do I have on this pick? This is my good pick. Yeah, I don't want to risk losing that. So we are just going to make a spare diamond pick over here. We'll do that guy. Two of those. And then... It's a kind of a waste of diamonds, but I don't really care too much. Do we have any lapis? Let's see what kind of enchantment we can get for uh, six levels. I'm breaking one. Perfect. Why not? <laughs> I don't care anymore. Um, but yeah. So, what we are going to have to do is we have to come all the way up here to the top. And i got to figure out where I left off. I think... I hope that I was smart enough to... To stop before I didn't like finish one halfway. I don't think that I did. I think we got like the first two or three layers completed with what string that I did have at the time. Um, it looks like that one is good. It looks like this one is good. Yeah, so we got string there. If we come up one more, is this where we stopped? Yeah, this is where we stopped. Okay, so, the trick to this is, oh, it's because we have all these Endermen. Oh no! What are they activating? The one underneath us, I think. We gotta try to kind of move these guys or move maneuver, maneuver them uh, around so that they will fall off and go down below without looking at them. Bump. Go that way. There you go. Go this way. There you go. <laughs> it's just so difficult. But once we're up here, they won't be spawning. But these guys spawned because we were down below. And so we were far enough away for them to start spawning. Uh, can you... Can you fall off for me, please? Please, sir? Please? No, you're not going to do it, are you? So, eventually they will walk off, but it's just much easier if we can go ahead and get them to move for us. Boom. There you go. And then over here on this side. And this is what I was talking about. It's a little sketchy because we got to get over here. <sighs> oh. <laughs> and I don't like jumping across there. Um, so, sooner or later, one of these days, we are going to fall all the way down and I'm hoping that doesn't happen. If we're smart enough we can catch ourselves on the vines but we'll see if that actually happens. Alright dude, come on, you're the last one. I need you to go. Please? Please sir? <laughs> go away! I need you to die. Uh, come on. Am I really gonna have to push you all the way down to the end? Ugh. No. Alright, well, I guess you can just chill for a little bit. So, our ladder's on that side. What we need to do is come in here. We got the string there so you can see. And now if we put it here, it's going to connect up. Now, the problem with that is, is if we touch that, it's going to activate. So, what I'm going to do is take that string back and you can... Oh! Dude pushed us off. What a jerk. I think somebody pushed us off. Okay, this is really annoying, but this is what this is what I was talking about, saving ourselves. So what we can do is take this block out, and come back in, and 
deactivate that, put that block back, and it's all good to go. All right, so eh, let me up. This is what we're gonna have to deal with, and we got like I don't even know how many layers, and I need to. It looks like I need to go get some more ladders too. Um, we got a lot. We got a lot to do. This is a big project, a huge project. Um, can we? Can you just fall off for me, please? Go. Thank you. <laughs> Stay con. Uh, so what we need to do, getting back to where we started, is you can see the hitboxes on this stuff is bigger when it's not connected. Like as soon as we connect it, that hitbox shrinks. And this is how I was doing the other ones, is I was using the hitbox to come all the way across like so. And then I'll come back over here and then start laying them all down this way. And then I wait to do like the last two layers and then I'll jump back over there. That way I can kind of get up in that little nook and finish everything off and then this layer is good to go. So that's what we're going to be doing. It's going to take some time, but it shouldn't take too long. And I think that we have, I'm hoping that we have enough string to go ahead and finish the whole thing today. That would be so cool. But we may... We may not have enough to finish, so we'll just have to see. But anyways, I'm going to work at this for a little bit, and then I will come back and show you what we got. Oh, weird. Is that not a chat thing anymore? You can only sleep at night. I never noticed that before. Interesting. Yeah, I told you it was going to happen. Dang it. It was so far away. Uh, this is a pain. I'm going to snag this bed and put it by the portal. Alright guys, we are almost done and you can already tell, <laughs> look how good this thing is working now. Um, not too shabby, I have to say. Um, it does create quite a bit of lag while I'm up there and these guys are falling through so that is a little, little annoying but we are almost done. We only got one more layer left of string and I'm going to take some extra just in case, I don't remember. I may have needed a couple more tripwire hooks, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, you can tell this thing is awesome. <laughs> it's so cool to have this up and going. Um, it took a long time. I've been at this for about 45 minutes or so now, and it took a lot, man. So I needed to count the layers. That was one of the things I wanted to do while I was up here, but I forgot about. Um, <laughs> but we're almost there. So you'll be able to see or feel the lag as we come up through here. So that is one of the downsides of having ugh, this whole thing use string instead of the pressure plates. So I really wish that the pressure plates would have worked because the problem with the string is now every time one falls through here, it's going to activate every piston all the way down. So you can see these guys falling through. They're activating the pistons on the floors that they didn't spawn on. So it's not really that big of a deal, but it is kind of, I don't know, resource intensive, I guess. But the problem is, somebody also said I could just run a trip, rod, a trip wire from one side all the way down to this side. But the problem with that is, is when one spawns, it's going to activate the whole thing. And then, like this, it just activates one piston going all the way down. So, <laughs> I can't talk. Um, can you get out of the way, please? Please, please, sir. I hate coming down and back up because as soon as I come down, I'm going to spawn. Um, but yeah, so the problem with having string run from one corner all the way to the other side is that it activates the whole row and that blocks off the spawns and cuts down the spawn rate of these guys. So this is a little bit better, but like I said, it is kind of hard on the system. You can, kind of, <laughs> you can feel the lag, but once we get this up and going, we're not going to be up here with the piston, so it should be okay. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. We are almost done throwing all this in here. So we got these last two here, and then we should be able to just come down here. Can we push you off the side? Can we go first? Thank you, sir. And then we can lay down the last ones here. I've fallen off so many times, it's insane. Um, thankfully, I've been able to catch myself either on the vines or being able to fall on one of the layers. And we got the last two here. Boom. We are done. 
All right, um, so I did change up kind of the design here. I had this whole entire wall going all the way up. It was solid, but I changed it up now. So I've got this block here, and then I actually need to add a slab in here because that'll cut back on one of the spawnable spaces. Um, but I've just, if I ever had to come back up here, I don't want to have to, I guess I really don't need these blocks here since this is only too high. But uh, yeah, so I kind of changed this up and got rid of these two blocks right here in front of us. So we just got one block there because that's the spawn space for them. And then did the same thing all the way up. And then I also put in slabs. So we have access to each one of these little spawn pads. Ugh. Um, but nothing can spawn there. Enemy can't spawn there because they're three tall and we don't have to worry about it. So sweet. This is all done. Um, we actually had extra string. I thought I, first, I really thought that we were going to use more string than what we did. We used a lot of tripwire hooks, but that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and fall down here. I just kind of want to see the rate that this thing is going. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, so if we go ahead and raise the floor back up. We should be able to see them start collecting here. And this thing is going to fill up insanely quick. <laughs> when this thing is going, like back in its heyday, man, this thing was awesome. I'm sure there's better designs on Enderman Farms now, but this one is pretty good. <laughs> so it fills up insanely fast. Some of them do die, which I'm not real sure about. I guess they, they fall like right through the middle and miss the vines. But for a majority, most of them catch the vines and it resets the fall, whatever, to I think it's like 43 and a half blocks or something like that. I'm not 100% sure on that. It's been a while. Um, but it gets them down to just half a heart so we can just punch one of them and then they die, which is amazing. <laughs> but yeah, so already, like before when I just had the one or two pads going, this is like 15 minutes worth of AFK. And it's only been, what, 40, 40 seconds? Maybe a minute? And we're this full. So yeah, it's pretty awesome, dude. I'm not going to lie. We're getting lots of ender pearls, which is good. And then we'll be able to get all the XP that we need to heal all of our stuff, which is great. So um, what I'm gonna going to do is I'm going to drop off all this stuff. Uh, throw the ender pearls in there. And look at all the string. and Or all the redstone and pressure plates and stuff I pulled out of this guy. A lot of these fell off the edge and probably despawned at the bottom. But this is what we got so far. So I think we're good on repeaters and uh, pressure plates for a little while anyway. So, yeah, not too shabby. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back and grab some of our mending books. Because I want to do up the rest of my tools. And then we will be back. Yeah, this farm is awesome again. <laughs> I can't even keep up with it. By the time I kill everybody in here, it's already almost full. Oh, it's great. <laughs> so I can just sit in here and I can spam these guys all day long and get all of the XP that we need. So, um, I got my pickaxe fully charged up. Now we just got to get enough levels to put one of these mending things on my sword. I think what we're going to focus on today, we got the shovel and our pickaxe with mending on them, which is good. And I've only got two mending books left, so I think that we are going to put mending on our boots. And then if we can... I don't know because these guys have been repaired quite a bit and they've already got all those enchantments on it. So I'm going to try to put it on my sword and my boots and if we can't do it on the boots then we may end up trying to put it on the axe or we may just end up saving it. So we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, I'm going to get about 30 levels here I think is probably what we're going to need and then we will come back and try to get this enchant going. You know something I got to thinking about? I'm hoping that maybe one day this will actually be a thing but you know you can put stuff in your offhand what I think would be really cool is if you took an empty glass bottle and you put it in your offhand and as you were collecting XP the XP would go into the bottle and that would give you the bottles of enchanting that way you could kind of store XP for when you need it I don't know I mean that sounds kind of like a thing that should be right that I mean that should be a feature in Minecraft it sounds like it makes sense to me <laughs> but I don't know I like that would just be really cool really handy to be able to hold XP and collect it whenever you needed it can we just get level 30 please there we go thank you um, we are full up on inventory into pearls though that's for sure and we do have some strays every now and then but they're all like half a heart still anyway so not that big of a deal uh, that chest is full 
Let's put the rest in there. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and try to put this on our sword. Um, the reason... Oh, we only need nine levels. The reason I want to put this on my sword is because of exactly this. It's got the AoE effect on our... You know, when we use the sword and stuff like that. When I come in here... Is this going to start... Okay, yeah, it is filling up my sword. Um, when we do all this and stuff, it just it takes the durability down like way low on our sword. And I don't want this sword to break, so this is our good one. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. Now I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I guess we should probably check the level since that one only took nine. Let's go see what we need for our boots real quick. Die, dude. Get out of here. Uh, let's come over here. Yeah. Let's take our boots off. Throw our boots there. Oh, we only need nine levels for these, too. That's awesome. All right, so throw those guys on there, and we'll see. Will the XP actually fill up our sword and our boots at the same time? Looks like it. That's handy. Is it filling up the sword? It is filling up the sword. And, the, oh, it does it at the same time. That's awesome. I was wondering how that was going to work with armor. Because, like I said before, um, if you don't have these tools in your offhand... And then they're not filling up. So like this, it should have been repaired like way long ago. But if it's not in my offhand, it's in my hotbar. It doesn't collect the XP. All right, sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything fully repaired here, and then we will be good to go. All right, so we are pretty much done here for today, which is awesome. Uh, let's just go ahead and pick up all these pearls real quick, so we can store them away just in case we ever need them. Oh, we're already full. <laughs> so many ender pearls, man. I don't know what to do with them all. Um, let's see. We really need to work on a better storage system for over here. We just got these little tiny pearls, and I'm so ready for all this freaking present stuff to go away. I hate it when they do this. That should be an option that you can turn on and off. I hate looking at these little presents. I'm not like a Grinch or nothing, but I don't like looking at these chests as presents just because... The red and the green, it just kind of drives me nuts. I don't like it. Um, but yeah, so we are pretty much all set and done for today. Let's just go ahead and head back home, if I can. There we go. <laughs> oh, this makes getting around in the end so much easier. And we can just kind of like shoot our way over this way. It takes a couple of rockets with the duration one. Um, but it's not really that big of a deal. So we can just come in here. We can swoop around land and we are good to go I think my bed is all messed up too yeah it keeps spawning me over here at the world spawn so um, yeah I think that's pretty much going to do it for today I think this episode probably ended up being a little short I'm not sure I haven't checked the time on it yet but I feel like I feel like it's a little short I've been recording for almost two hours now so I don't know how much of that footage was actually usable because it was mostly just me um, <laughs> laying down string and tripwire hooks and all kinds of other crap so anyways dudes hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode if you did make sure you hit that like button for me down below it really helps my channel out man you guys have been killing it here recently on the support so make sure you keep it up um, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys very soon for another episode here in my Minecraft world so we've got lots of stuff to work on now which is fantastic and uh, it's gonna be great man it's gonna be it's going to be some good stuff coming up soon. So anyways, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. But I will see you guys next time, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you then. Peace. Wow. <laughs> These rockets are so cool.